Good day. Today, part two of the diorama effect. Let's start it out. Okay, folks, essentially what we're going to be doing here is this. We're going to be setting three different places at different levels of blurriness. We've got the foreground, the midground, and then the background. We're going to be, uh, I guess you could say there's a fourth one as well, and that's the sort of mid mid ground right here. We're not going to be leaving, we're not going to be blurring that one uh, pretty much at all. So the first thing we need to do though is we need to use our clone tool. We want to get rid of the majority of these ropes, okay, because it's going to really destroy our diorama sort of effect. So we're going to select our clone tool. Okay, here's our clone tool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch our brush up. Instead of the circle, I, I was playing around with this earlier, we're going to try to go with uh, one of these brushes here. Okay, so you see there's our circle one we selected. Pick, let's see how this one comes out. Calligraphic brush two. That sounds nice. You can play around how you like it. One thing you'll notice though is that you'll see that our brush is very small. So we'll we'll take a bite here. Now, when we use our clone tool, we first got a sample, okay, from an area. So we press our control button. All right, and you can see there's my cursor. I'm going to sample from this part of the cement here. So I'm going to control click. Okay. And now it's selecting from that area. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to see, see, I'm going to take that brush out or take out that rope. And this is looking pretty good right there. Now, if you really want to, I mean, you could uh, continue with this route, but that's going to be very time consuming. So we're going to go ahead. This is a very large picture. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to change the scale of our brush. Let's see if that's good. We're going to put that. We'll start off at three. That's a little big, but you know, I'm just I just want to get get this. I'm gonna sample then a little. Hmm, I'm gonna now nah, we'll keep with our sample. So now we're just taking out that rope. And since it's a pretty simple uh pattern, what we're cloning out, it really does not look too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna resample this now. I'm gonna press my control button and click, and now that's where my sample area changed to. So again, you can see I'm just taking out our rope. Now, and right there, I messed up. I took out that shadow. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo that. There we go. So again, we're just going to continue along. It's not too, too important that it looks perfect. But it's just something nice. If we're going to take the time to uh, do this project, just finish taking out that rope. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to finish with this rope. You can, on your project, you can go ahead and continue. So again, though, uh, I'm just going to take out that rope. See right there, that's looking a little bad. Let's try to blur that up. So we're going to go here to our blur tool. Okay. And with this, I'm going to dial up where it says rate here. I'm just going to put that hmm, around like 85 or something like that. And now I'm just going to blur that up. Actually, and then I'm going to change the scale again. And we're going to blur that area we just cloned so then it's not as easy to see. Okay. And I don't like how that, came, that last part came out. When you do the clone tool, just be a little bit more careful than I was. But anyways, so now we're actually ready to start. Okay. So to do that, we're going to first select our paths tool. So let's go ahead to our paths tool. Hmm. Peppermint tea delish. Okay. Now, if we look at our instructions, these instructions are kind of hard to follow, but we're not too bad. We're going to, as you can see here, we're going to start our click on the left, our path on the left, and we're just going to follow along the wings of the plane. Okay. This first plane in the very front. This is our foreground. So let's get our foreground selected. So let's click here. All right. And then let's keep on trucking. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Again, you know, you just try to, you want to try to get it pretty tight against this, this first plane. It's important. So there we go. Just going to continue along. If we make any mistakes, not a big deal. NBD, as they say. All right, so we want to try to get really tight against this plane. Let's keep on doing that. Oh, that's nice. Let's bring it down. 
Okay, now and remember, it's gonna it's gonna link. See how this circle is open? It's gonna if I click here, it's gonna connect with that circle. Now watch this. If I'd want to go back and make that circle open, watch this. Okay, see it's gonna. That's how it works. See, I just joined it there. Okay. So the path tool is pretty nice. So we're just going to continue that over. Then, right about there. And then we're just going to bring it down, across, and then back to where we started. Okay. The first thing we're going to do then is we're going to feather our selection. The feather our selection makes it so it's not a sort of hard angle when we do our blur. So we're going to feather our selection by uh, 50. First, though, selection from path. Got our ants. Select feather 50. Okay, 50. All right, so we've got that selection feather now. Now we're going to blur. We're going to blur it by 20. Okay, so filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to do 20 by 20. Okay, 20 by 20. Okay. Click on all right. I blurred that first part up pretty good. All right, so our next step is going to be to do the background. Okay, so to do that, we're going to start, as you can see, our, our click on the left, and we're just going to be trying to get just this background area here. Okay, so now what we'll do is do a select none. Okay, and we can actually, if you want to, you can just start a new path, or I'm actually going to delete this path, this whole front thing. So I'm going to go. If you don't, I'm going to go to my paths menu. I'm going to delete that again. If you, if you don't have your paths menu, just click on here, add tab, and then paths. But I'm going to delete that path because I'm done with it. All right, now I'll get my path tool out again. All right, and we're going to start. Let me. I just need to consult this a second. I'm going to start on the left here. And we're going to try to just avoid that wing. Okay, we're looking to get this background area. So try to avoid getting the wings in the picture, really. Try to give them sort of a wide berth. Because, and it's not a, a big deal if you do get, get some of them. Okay, because, or actually, if you leave too much space, we're going to be using our blur tool again. Okay, because, again, essentially the um, Gaussian blur... blur is we can do the same thing okay, with our blur tool. Just the Gaussian blur is a faster and uh, better in some ways. Okay, so right there we got our. I'm gonna move that down a little bit. I want to try to get that background in there. All right, almost done. We'll take it up now, and we can actually go outside of our canvas. It's not a problem. And then what we're going to do is press our control button, click, join that up. Again, selection from path. All right, got the ants. We're going to feather this, okay? Feather this by 75. Ooh. Select feather, 75. Then we're going to blur this by 45. Okay, 45. So filters, blur. Gaussian blur, 45, 45, 45. Click on OK. It's thinking. And bam, wow, that's super blurry, but it's what the instructions say. That's what we do. That's creating our diorama effect, OK? All right, now let's do a select none. We're going to delete that path again. Let's just go ahead, let's delete that path we did. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do this mid, this kind of the mid ground. I call it the mid ground, yeah. The back mid ground in a way. Um, oh, I missed some of that with that. So we're going to select our blur tool real quick. If you missed anything, like you see how this is kind of messed up there, just go ahead and select your blur tool. That's, that's your blur tool. It's next to your sort of smudge tool. Okay, we're just going to blur that up. You see how it's like it's poking out. So I'm going to blur that up. You know, I'm going to change my brush here to the old uh, circle. I'm going to dial up that rate. 
Let me make this brush a little smaller. Let's go ahead. Let's blur that up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's better. It's getting a little better. Make sure, that, like, if you have any spots where it's like around the wings that you that it missed, just go ahead and blur that up. Okay. So let's see here. Again, I'm not going to do it all just for time's sake, but you on yours, make sure yours are, are blurred, like seeing these areas around the wings. That's better. I'm a lot happier about that now. Okay. So our next step is we're going to get our sort of back mid-ground. So let's get our paths tool out again. All right. And this is, I, I always have to consult the picture here. It's going to be starting, uh, it's going to include this plane here, that and the plane all the way on the right. But we're going to try to avoid this one all the way on the left. So let's, let's go ahead, let's get this done. So try to get it flush, you know, try to get it pretty tight around these 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 wings, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead. Oh, missed that one. Ah, there we go. Okay. There she is. Okay. You know, just do your best with this. The path tool can sometimes be a little problematic, but it's it, it does work well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try to get that one. I'm going to dip those one in a little bit. Match that. Okay. Bring that one over so it's a little bit. There we go. We're looking good now. Okay. Ooh. Some problems there. There. I'd like to, but it, it's acceptable. Okay. Actually, let me just take that right over like that and just link that up. There we go. Okay, so we got our back to the middle ground done. Let's go ahead here. So um go to our selection by path. And we're gonna feather it then. Okay. Uh feather it by 60. Whoop, not 610, 60. Okay, click on OK. And then what we'll do is we're going to Gaussian blur that by 15. Okay, filters blur, Gaussian blur, 15. Okay. There we go. Select none. Again, I'm going to get rid of my path here. I just, I like getting rid of them after I'm done with them. Okay, so now with the blurring is done, we're now going to adjust the lighting. So let's go ahead here to colors and curves. And with this, this is not an exact science here. We're just going to just bring this line up here. You can just click on, just bring it up, you know, like basically just a little bit up and to the left, okay? Just like that. Click on OK. And now we're going to add our color vibrance, 16.19 to 93.52. So let's go to filters, EG, color vibrance. Okay, so again, as I said, 16.19, okay, 16.19, and 93.52, okay, and that's, that's it, okay, so let's check out, let's see how this came out, so right now that's going through, okay, so that's our final product, I hope yours comes out pretty well. There's some issues I can see now. You know, if I was doing this over again, I missed again some some areas um, across uh, the, the wings, some areas there. My uh, sort of layers of blurriness got a little off, but generally I'm happy. I wish you the best of luck with this project.